Hey guys, Heavens Up Fire XGS V2 here. This is a new series I'm doing called Movies in a Nutshell. Basically, it's me sitting here telling you a whole movie in a nutshell. So if you don't like spoilers, don't watch it. But it's okay, because you already clicked on it, increasing my view count. Anyways, the first movie I'll be doing is the recently released The Last Exorcism. Now, this movie is not too great. So I recommend if you don't really want to waste your time with this movie, you should watch this. If you really want to see it and you're like, I want to see Last Exorcism, don't get away from me, then just leave. All right, so first of all, this guy, right? It's, it's, it's taken from a spectator point of view. It's like, yo, man, let's make a documentary about how fake exorcisms are because I know they're not real. And the hammer's like, oh, sure, Bill, that's a great idea. Let's go do it. And he's like, let's, because people are saying that kids are dying from exorcists. And they're like, oh, really? And then he's like, yeah. He goes, he goes, well, aren't they really possessed by the devil? And he's like, no, because they end up dying because they start choking him with a bag like this. <laughs> this guy gets a, he gets a thing in the mail saying, oh, please help our daughter. She is acting weird lately. And we may think that she may be possessed by the devil. And so the guy's like, oh, certainly. So he goes over there and he goes, watch this. Comes on, he sees this guy over there. And this guy's like, what are you doing here? And the guy's like, yo, man, I'm just looking for a house to go exercise people. And he's like, well, why don't you just get the out of here? And he's like, whoa, calm down, Bill. So he's driving along, he's like, boom, throws a rock at him. And so he's like, oh, what is wrong with this kid? And this kid's like, ha, ha, you. So everything's just, okay. Anyways, the farm. And he's talking to the girl. It turns out her mother's dead. And, you know, the animals have been killed. There's blood everywhere every morning. The dad is, like, pissed for some reason. You know, all kinds of bad shit is happening. So, he goes, all right. So, he decides he's just going to rig some things up. Like, he's going to put boiled stuff in water to make it bubble. He's going to, like, rig some light slants to go on and off and on and off. And to make it look like it's a real exorcism, but really, it's fake. Okay, so she she goes like, oh, do you love your mother? She's like, yes, I love my mother very much. And he's like, okay, that's great. I don't give up. Okay, just put your feet in this water. So she puts her feet in the water. The water bubbles up. It's like, blah, 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 and she's like, oh, what the? So they think that there's a devil among them. So he's walking along, and the, the guy who threw the thing for her is like, I saw you put that thing in the water, man. I know you're not real. And he's like, yo, chill, dude. It's real, man. And he's like, you stay the away from her. He's like, you stay away from me. So then we're all, they're all happy. Later that night, they do the exorcism. And you know, all this fake sunshine, and the girl's like, ah! and, he, and the guy's like, ah! and the parents are like, ah! and you know, shit's hitting the fan. So, you know, all that stuff, they think they're done. It's good, yada yada, yes, okay. You know, we, he gets like a wad of cash. And he's like, yeah, suckers. So right, he's got the cash. He's going out, he's like, and that's how a fake exorcism works. You know, people believe it. Look, she's going to be fine in like five days. Little did he know that mother is going to be wrong. He goes to a hotel room and the camera's still on. So he's walking along. All of a sudden you see the girl like there's like, just like there. And, and he's like, oh, what the H? And so, so he, he, she's like, she's not, not moving. She's like, and he's like, and you know, he's confused. So he takes the girl back, and the dad's like, what the did you do? And he's like, I didn't do anything, man. I swear to God. I just did an exorcism on him. And he goes like, apparently you didn't do it right, fat ass. And he's like, well, screw you. Exorcism's already real. And he's like, oh. So meanwhile, you know, now he's like, all right, now I got to do real exorcism. What the H? And he's like, no, I'm getting out of here. And the guy's like, you better fix my daughter or else I'll shoot you. And he's like, oh, I don't want to be shot now, please. So friggin', you know, uh, some weird crap starts happening. Like, like, you know, just, just, just weird stuff. So then they go to ask this priest about this girl. And, and he's like, nah, the girl's pretty good and all, but they hate our family for no reason. And he's like, why would they hate your family? He goes, I don't know, I just told you for no reason, fat ass. And he's like, all right, well, no need for that. So he goes, all right, well, maybe it's nothing to do with not going to church or something. So the devil just, you know, decided to just F with her or something. Anyways, 
he goes to do the real exorcism on her, and he's like, all right, I'm going to do real exorcism on him. And all of a sudden, the devil voice comes in. He's like, no, you're not. And he's like, yes, I am. She's like, no, you're not. He's like, yes, I am. She goes, just, 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 the whole head turns around. And it's like, oh, Billy. Oh, friggin' the girl's like doing like all these things where she's like putting her, her arm in her mayonnaise and her friggin' wang on the floor. And it's just all like friggin' like a mumbo jumbo, honky dory rubbery. Bleh. So the guy's like, all right, stop it right now. Power Christ compels you. Power Christ compels you. Just like, no, 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 no. And all of a sudden, just everything's fine again. And turns out that they're really, that they, you know, she's fixed. And they think the devil's actually gone. Okay. Okay. And, if, and the movie? No, not yet. Of course not. You think there's more crap? Yes, there is. Okay. So to add on to this shithole, they got, I find out. That she's not really freaking possessed. She wasn't possessed at all. She just had like this like schizophrenia kind of thing. And she like, you know, was really sick in the head. And something happened to her. Like she was, she got pregnant. So they're thinking, oh, did the dad rape her? Or did the brother rape her? Incest. What the? Meanwhile, it turns out that none of this is true. And that this guy named Brad or something like that who works at like a coffee stop, like, you know, screwed her and got her pregnant. So they're going, they're like, all right, let's ask this Brad kid. So they go to this restaurant, they see Brad there, and they're like, Brad, why'd you F this girl? And he's like, I didn't F her, I'm gay. And they're like, all right, then you didn't do anything. So they walk out, and they're like, wow, that flamer really didn't do it. So they go, and they go, and they're like, what the F happened then? So comes back, the dad's like, get the F off my lawn, I told you not to come the F back. He's like, no, you F and didn't. He's like, yes, I F and didn't. He's like, no, you F and didn't. So he's like, boom. He's like, oh, we gotta get the hell out of here. So they run, they're booking it, they're booking it. They're driving back, and then they're thinking, wait a minute, there's something we gotta solve. We gotta go the F back. So they go the F back, and then no one's home. Oh, some fishy's going on here. So they go on to the freaking woods, and they see this giant fire and a bunch of monks. And so the guy's already like, all right, what the is going on? And all of a sudden, you see the girl there, she's like, wah, wah, wah. And like, you see that priest guy. Yeah, that priest guy from before. He's got the monk on. He's pulling out this red demonic baby. So the guy's like, what the H is that? And he throws that demonic baby in the fire. And it just goes, Bleh! and they're all like. So shit's hitting the fan completely. There's shit's everywhere. Not literally, figuratively, but still. So he's like, oh God, I gotta save myself. Takes a freaking cross, comes out of nowhere and goes, ah, dives in the fire. He explodes. Alright? So the cameraman's right, he's like, oh crap, gotta get out of here, nine. And all of a sudden, he looks behind him and his her fr his friend gets his head chopped off. And he's like, oh please, nah, please! So he's just running, running, running. All of a sudden, he turns the F around, and who is it? It's the freaking guy from the, you know, the guy who threw the thing before, and he just goes, see ya, Bill Johnson, and cuts off his head. End of movie. That's the last exorcism in a nutshell. Tune in next week while I do Crank 2 High Voltage. And you know what? This is going to keep on going forever. If you liked the video, comment below. If you didn't like the video, screw off. Okay, that was Course Young Reviews in a nutshell. Stay tuned for episode 2 next week. Have a great night. Just kidding. You're a fat ass. Woo! <laughs>